so welcome and welcome back to my channel guys in this video we will clean the main burner of the composite boiler so as for always guys we need to secure the boiler first and we will do the process of lock out and tug out so I secure it this way I press the emergency stop so as you can see it is showing boiler trip and from the local side we will secure the quick closing valve for the fuel oil inlet so that's it guys so we will start opening now the composite boiler burner so why it is called composite boiler because it is a combination of boiler and exhaust economizer in which the generation of steam is by flue gas of the main burner and the exhaust gas of the main engine as you can see guys the burner assembly has been swing out and we can see now the main burner and the from inside part is the swirler so as you can see it's only mild carbon accumulation from the electrode and the nozzle tip or the atomizer itself so for the electrical parts i am using the contact cleaner to clean the electrode probe and for the atomizer i am using the oil penetrant to clean and with the compressor so the frequency of this maintenance guys is done once a week as per pms instruction i am using only clean cloth to clean the electrode i am not using any abrasive paper just to protect the texture because once the texture of the electrode has been damaged or it become rough it will attract carbons that may lead to our electrode to work inefficiently and now i am removing the atomizer by the use of spanner and slowly detach the filter and always check for the o-ring inside and check for any obstructions and this inside filter has to be clean properly with compressed air and penetrating oil all parts of the burner assembly has to be checked and inspected accordingly just use compressed air and oil penetrant to clean the inside parts and as you can see the spring that i am operating so this is the non-return valve in which allows the fuel pressure to the main burner when the composite boiler is in operation and prohibits the oil droplets of the burner itself when the boiler is in stop mode and now i am done cleaning then i will assemble it back to the assembly so just watch over for the face to face part that it should be clean to avoid any leakages during the operation of this composite boiler burner so now i am tightening the burner atomizer up to the point that it should not leak otherwise it will have the flame fail when this atomizer is leaking the specified clearance of the electrode to the burner atomizer is found in the instruction manual so whenever you have misfire or flame fail it is most probably the distance of the electrode to the atomizer 
is the problem and now I am closing the burner assembly and I am tightening the lock nut now we have to test the boiler just depress the emergency stop and open the quick closing valve of the fuel oil inlet then purge the boiler before firing so I'm switching it to local control and reset all the alarm and then start the boiler and as of now it is on the sequence of pre purging so we will wait for the boiler to completely purge before firing so when you start boiler guys just follow the sequence and monitor all the parameters as you can see guys our boiler is now firing and it has a good quality of fire so until here guys i hope you learned something from this video and if you are interested in this kind of topic all about marine engineering please don't forget to like share and subscribe and please do hit the notification bell so that you will be updated for my upcoming video guys until here stay safe everyone thank you for watching bye bye